Hey guys, and welcome to a Minecraft tutorial. We're back in vanilla Minecraft, except if you'll notice, those command blocks look a little different. That's because I am indeed running on the snapshots now. Um, obviously not for my usual stuff, just for snapshot testing. Uh, I've avoided it until this point because as a developer myself, not on Minecraft obviously, but as a programmer I know how development versions can be very buggy and sometimes just sort of crash everything and just break everything out of nowhere and that's why they're development versions. So I've been kind of reluctant to uh, to enable snapshots but I figured, you know what, I really like the new features that I've been seeing and I'd like to try them out. So here I am in a snapshot world and so far no major bugs, so that's good. But I wanted to show you guys something that I came up with. Um, basically, if we come up here, we see, oh look, there's a whole second floor. But if we weren't flying, let's say we were in game mode 2, how do we get up there? Now, ever since the 1.9 snapshot started coming out and the levitation effect was introduced, people have been coming up with ways to use levitation effects as an elevator. Now if you're just going survival, you can do that by setting up shulkers and hiding them and then revealing them to you uh, when you want to use the elevator and then they'll shoot you and then you'll fly up. Uh, and I mean that's a little complicated, but it works. Um, but on the downside, you know, the missiles that the shulkers hit are not painless. They do some damage. Um, so I wanted to do it using a little command block magic in a way that would be painless and automatic um, and also easy to set up. So basically this is an elevator. If we come here uh, you might notice that the particles are um, an area effect cloud, the kind that generates when you throw a lingering potion which is also new in 1.9 um, but usually those disintegrate and this is not. And This is how our elevator works. We step right in and we get pushed up, pushed out, and boom, we're on the second floor. And see, welcome to the second floor. And what do we have here? Obsidian. Because obviously there wasn't enough obsidian on the way up, right? Anyway, game mode one. Um, yeah, so basically this design uses a little bit of command block magic um, to make those area effect clouds, and there are two of them and it uses a little bit of vanilla redstone and combined they give you a nice elevator effect. Uh, so this could be good for adventure maps or if you have a you know a server or a single player that you're not afraid to use command blocks on you know you're not reluctant to. Uh, the command blocks are only there to set up those area effect clouds. Everything else is vanilla. So you know I don't know if I'd call it cheating, but eh, it depends on your outlook. Anyway, so how does this work? First of all, there is a lot of obsidian here. There doesn't need to be. Only five of these blocks need to be either obsidian or some other uh, block that slime blocks won't pull. So furnaces, any tile entities at all. Um, so like furnaces, uh, I think chests will work, um, and obsidian. I feel like I'm missing something. Eh. Anyway, so but only five of them need to be. The rest I just made out of obsidian because I had it on hand um, from building the top part and it looked good. But basically here's what you do. So these two commands, ignore this one, this is just testing. These two command blocks are the main bit and I will post these commands down in the description below. But Basically, we have this command block, which is just an impulse that needs redstone, unconditional, so your, your classic command blocks, uh, and it summons the first area effect cloud at the bottom of the elevator. In this case, it summons it two away on the X and Z axes, but uh, you can change that to whatever you want, wherever you want these things to appear, so wherever your elevator is. Um, in this case, I'm using the Witch Magic Particle because I think it looks better than the Classic Potion Particle. 
Um, I didn't even go through the entire list of particles, which you can find on the wiki, which I'll also post below. Uh, so you can pick a particle you like better if you don't like that one. Um, reapplication delay is 20 ticks, which means while you're standing in the area of effect, uh, every 20 ticks you will get the levitation effect reapplied. Uh, 20 ticks, by the way, for those who don't know, is one second. So every second that you're standing uh, in the little area of effect, you will get your levitation reapplied. And you can change this to whatever you want. If you want it faster or slower, it doesn't really matter. I'm not sure if doing it like every tick would lag or not, but you can always test that out yourself if you want. So far, one second has been fine. Then we have the radius, which is how uh, big your elevator is, basically. In this case, it's two block radius. And yes, it needs the point zero and the F because these are floating point numbers. I found out that the hard way that if you use uh, integers, which means you don't specify it uh, like that, it will not work. It is very type sensitive. So uh, whatever your radius is, make sure that you include the decimal point and the F. In this case, it's just a small elevator, so two. And then you have radius on use must be set to zero. Every time you use a lingering potions area of effect, uh, meaning every time it applies a status effect to you, it will get smaller at a faster rate than usual. If you do not set this to zero, every time someone uses your elevator, the cloud will shrink until it disappears, and then your elevator will disappear. So set this to zero. Wait time one. I don't know if I needed this, um, but basically the wait time is how many ticks after it's summoned before it starts applying the effect. I just set it to one so it does it immediately. I don't know if you can set it to zero or leave it out or not. I haven't tested it, but setting it to one works. Um, the duration, this is the number of ticks that the cloud will last before disappearing. I just picked a fairly arbitrary string of nines. So it is a long time, basically. This is one, two, three. So this is 999,999 ticks. It's almost a million ticks, which a million divided by 20 is 100,000 divided by two. 50,000 seconds. I think in 50,000 seconds, it, it. I don't even want to do the math on how many days that is, but I think it's long enough for your uh, elevator to remain. Especially if it's an adventure map, people aren't probably going to be running this for more than a day at a time. So yeah. And we've got radius per tick. Uh, this is how much the radius changes every tick. It's usually negative because the area of effect shrinks. So set it to zero to make sure that it doesn't shrink on its own. And then we've got the effects. And here is where you decide which effects are going to be applied to the player standing in the area of effect. Uh, in this case, I'm using uh, effect ID 25. Oh, and by the way, it must be an array, which is a list, which means you have to open uh, square brackets before and close square brackets after. Make sure you don't mismatch those. It will be a syntax error. Um, and ID does need to be capitalized, which in most places it doesn't, but here it does, so the devs were inconsistent, I guess. But yeah, so ID 25 is the potion ID for levitation effect. So you can do anything you want here. I tried doing it like this, uh, Minecraft levitation. That did not work. Uh, I don't know why. Um, I thought you could, you could use potion effects that way, but it didn't work. So just stick with 25 as the ID for levitation. Amplifier here is Four. This is the level of the potion, or, or rather the level of the status effect. Uh, four means it is level five levitation, because it's always one more because amplifier zero is level one. So this is a level five. You can change this if you want to move the player faster, uh, and then he'll go higher, you know? So it's up to however tall you need your elevator to be. Uh, then I've got ambient, true. What that says is that the effects shouldn't show as many particles. I, I did want to show some particles so you know when the levitation effect 
is actually on you, which, I mean, I guess if you're floating up, that should be indication enough, but I thought it would be nice just to make sure there was a visual indicator. But I didn't want the particles to just get in your face, so ambient true makes them less noticeable as if it was from a beacon. And then duration is how many ticks the levitation effect should last, and in this case I did 30, which is one and a half seconds. So basically, you have a level 5 levitation applied, so level 5 levitation uh, for 30 ticks or one and a half seconds, and then it's reapplied every second that you're in the area of effect. So basically, as long as you stand in the area of effect, you will always have levitation. Once you're out of the area of effect, it will last another one and a half seconds. Um, and level five at one and a half seconds was just enough to get to around here uh, from the ground. And that is why I put another one here. And that is this second command block, which is exactly the same. It is literally identical in every way to the previous command, except the place that I'm summoning the cloud is five blocks up. So we start here, we move up five blocks, and then there's the second one. Now, I could have just adjusted the duration or amplifier for the bottom one and gotten rid of this second level and then done it with one command block, but uh, I, I don't know. I, I feel like if you move too fast, it doesn't look good. And also, if I do it this way, then theoretically I could... Um, I could have multiple levels, which I didn't implement here, but I could like have a second level here or something. That way, uh, you know, because if I just made the duration really long and it would let you get to the top, and there was a second level here, you would continue floating even after you're on the second level, which wouldn't be good. So this way you can have a multi-level system if you wanted to. And then you would just basically copy this block um, and just change the Y position, the height of each uh, of each cloud to the next tier in your building, basically. Um, and please take note, this must be set to always active and chain. That way when you trigger this one, which summons the bottom, it will follow the chain down and it will trigger all of them and create your entire elevator for you. Um, and then this, like I said, was just for testing. All I did was kill area effect cloud. It's always useful um, if you don't have the right effects or you've typed something wrong. Those clouds are going to stick around because of their 999,000 whatever duration. So if you just do this, they all die, and it clears it up for you. So you can change your, um, your commands in here around to change the effects and then reset them. So you don't need this, but... It's a simple command. It's just killing all entities of type area effect cloud. Um, that will not be in the description. These two will. Um, and that's pretty much it for the command block part. So once you have those area of effect clouds, um, like I said, remember it was a two block radius. So technically, if you were in this block here, it would affect you as well. But because of the way it's built up top, I just blocked that off. So you get in here and then it lifts you. And then one lifts you into the one cloud uh, levitates you into the second cloud, and then the second cloud reapplies the levitation effect, which then pulls you back up to the top. And up here is just basic redstone. So what I have up here is once you levitate high enough, you will hit these trip wires, or this trip wire. Uh, and that will send a redstone signal out here, which is just a straight line to a piston. This is a sticky piston connected to three slime blocks. So when you hit that, right, this goes, the way uh, tripwire hooks work is the string goes slightly below um, the actual block that the hooks are on. I don't know how far below, but enough below that if we were to put these down here, even though it's one block above the slime blocks, when these extend, it will actually destroy your string. So it's slightly below. So what happens is you come up and you hit that bottom string. These extend, and because this is slightly lower than two blocks, your feet get caught by the slime blocks and you get pushed into that wall. And once you're pushed into this wall, you know, it's it's designed at the right height, 
based upon the duration and amplifier that I used for these clouds, such that as soon as you hit this wall, the effect, the levitation effect wears off and you fall. And then you're on the second floor. And then you can just go around and do whatever, like get your obsidian. Uh, obviously, this can be built out into whatever you want, a whole second floor of your building. But yeah. Now, the only problem with this is that you can't drop back down the same way, because as soon as you hit, it'll pull you back up with a levitation. But of course, the answer to that is just classic vanilla quick drop, which means uh, you just put right here or something, wherever you want to drop down, you just put water at the bottom and jump in. I mean, it's it's... There's no need for an elevator going down, just up. So yeah, that's basically it. And the one thing to note again is that you do need immovable blocks everywhere that these slime blocks will be. So that means three, one under each of these. And then this block here and this block here need to be immovable as well. So that when they extend, uh, they don't pick them up on the way back and then... I mean, I guess technically you could do that. It's not going to really break anything. It'll just break your wall, which will look weird. So I recommend you use immovable blocks for those as well. Um, you definitely need immovable blocks below them. Um, otherwise, they're going to start... Well, first of all, this isn't going to work because it's going to try to pull them down across into here, and there's too many blocks. It won't be able to pull, and the whole thing will break. So yeah, immovable blocks. Um, yeah, so this is my uh, vanilla slash command block elevator design, and uh, yeah, I'm going to go record my FTB session right now, which will be up hopefully uh, in the morning. So until next time, keep designing, keep commanding, keep snapshotting. And keep redstoning.